Hey there, welcome to the locker room. Coach Giggs here, and today's message, become solution-minded. Become solution-minded. Bottom line is there are two kinds of people in this world. There are those who are problem-minded and those who are solution-minded. Which are you? When a problem comes your way, do you spend an inordinate amount of time dwelling on that problem? If you do, chances are that that problem is going to hang around maybe longer than it otherwise could if you were instead a solution-minded person. In other words, when problems come your way and challenges come your way, grow an attitude and grow a mindset and a habit of seeing and looking for solutions. Sometimes you, you can't find those solutions, but do your best to become solution-minded. Stephen Covey wrote a fabulous book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. But according to him, his personal crowning achievement was the Eighth Habit, the book that came out many years later. We all waited for it. And what is the Eighth Habit? Simple. Stimulus. Response. In other words, it's not what happens to us that really matters. It's how we respond. And the quality of that response is determined by whether we are solution-minded or problem-minded. Listen, the happiest and most successful people in the world aren't without problems. They've simply learned how to solve their problems. And if they can't come up with solutions or answers, they surround themselves with people that they trust and respect, and they go to those people and ask them for their thoughts and their opinions. So today's message Pretty darn simple. Become solution-minded, not problem-minded. Don't dwell on your problems. Dwell on the solutions. Don't dwell on what's wrong with your life. Focus on what's right in your life. Become solution-minded. And when you and I do, we're going to make this a better place. We're going to have a better life, a happier life. Those around us are going to be happier because we're always trying to be helpful and coming up with things to make life better. Make it a great day and become solution-minded today on all those challenges that you're facing. Make it a great day. We'll see you tomorrow in the locker room. Bye-bye. If you've enjoyed and feel that the Daily Locker Room has served as an inspiration in your life, why not take this moment and do the same for a friend by sending them the daily message? Click on the Tell a Friend tab, fill in their information, and help spread the inspiration.